The Man of the Last Frontier. In 1931 Gray Owl published his first book, The Man of the Last Frontier, a work that is part memoir, part history of the vanishing wilderness in Canada, and part compendium of animal and First Nations tales and lore. A passionate, compelling appeal for the protection and preservation of the natural environment pervades Gray Owl's words and makes his literary debut still ring with great relevance in the 21st century. By the 1920s, Canada's outposts of adventure had been thrust farther and farther north to the remote margins of the country. Lumbermen, miners, and trappers invaded the primeval forests, seizing on nature's wealth with soulless efficiency. Grey Owl himself fled before the assault as he witnessed his valleys polluted with sawmills, his hills dug up for hidden treasure, and wildlife, particularly his beloved beavers, exterminated for quick fortunes. You will find this ebook on Amazon. Here is an extract, The Vanguard. The following winter, in the same district, the two parties met, six men all told, threats were exchanged over the muzzles of loaded rifles, and a pitched battle seemed imminent. But the affair had attracted the attention of the mounted police and itching trigger fingers had to be controlled in this instance. Arrests were made and a trial staged. Justice, unable to differentiate between the claims of either side, dropped the case, but such things are never forgotten or forgiven. This affair was a modification of the old Long Traverse, a scheme adopted by the despotic representatives of a big fur company in earlier days, whereby undesirables, such as free traders, encroaching trappers and others, were captured, their outfit confiscated, and themselves turned loose with a rifle and a few rounds of ammunition to find their way on foot, hundreds of miles, to the nearest town. And often enough a pair of Indian killers, earning their buy, perhaps, a rebate on their debt, followed stealthily behind to watch the dying struggles of a starving man with callous apathy, or grimly stalk him day by day, and later shoot him. A man who has successfully overcome the difficulties and endured the privations of the trapline for a few years can no more quit it than the confirmed gambler can leave his gaming. Trapping is, after all, a gamble on a large scale, the trapper's life and outfit against the strength of the wilderness and its presiding genie, to win a living, and in the hazard, he experiences a rare pleasure. Nor is his life without its compensations. He may climb a mountain and look as far as the eye can reach, out over illimitable leagues of forested hill and valley stretching into the dim distance, with a feeling of ownership, and there is none to say him nay. And to all intents and purposes it is his, therein to work his will, Surely a vast enough estate to satisfy the most land-hungry, and with no taxes or upkeep attached to it. There is the story of the old-timer, who, in years of solitary wandering, had happened on a particularly pleasant camping ground and was preparing to pass the night there. Presently he saw coming a canoe, and soon a stranger, attracted no doubt by his smoke and the knowledge of the presence of another of his kind in the interminable waste, edged his canoe ashore and landed. Fine evening, said the stranger, probably his first speech for months. Yeah, replied the old-timer. Gosh darn fine camping ground you got here, added the new arrival. Ah, uh -huh. The habit of a lifetime was not to be so easily broken. The other man commenced to unload his canoe, and whilst he so busied himself, endeavored to warm the chill atmosphere by cheerful conversation. There's a war in China. Did you hear about it? He queried. Receiving no answer he looked up to see his newly found companion, deliberately folding his blankets and pulling down his tent, evidently so lately erected. What in hell's wrong, he demanded in pained surprise. Not going away, are you, yes, I'm going away, was the answer. There's too darn much discussion around here to suit my fancy. Thanks for listening, you are welcome on lucasproducts.com. You will find The Men of the Last Frontier by Grey Owl on Amazon.